I'm Nick, and I'm representing power. Brian. Discrimination. Uh, Small and representing choice. I am Mayor Plum of Cherryville, and this is our story. on mustache people. Oh, well, hi, y'all. I mean, you know, if they want a mustache, then they should be able to wear a mustache. There's nothing to it, real. I don't understand why, you know, it's such a crime not to wear a mustache. I mean, I just don't think it goes with my personality, you know. Oh, well, you know, mustaches, you know, they're right, I guess, you know. People have mustaches? Eh. We tell well, you. there is nothing wrong with them. They are nice to play with, and I, I can't. They, they're not bad. There's nothing, nothing wrong with them. You mean 25%? Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're losers, and like no one is so like yeah, they're losers. But but I mean like. But no 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 one likes them, so you just they're they're stupid, they're dumb, and in fact, people with mustaches are ninety nine percent smarter than those without. But Morales isn't stupid. You're kidding me, right? He he's, he's dumb. Me. He, he, he does not teach you how to read. He taught me how to read. I taught you how to read. When you just yelled at me. I didn't do anything to you. Excuse me. You Thank yelled you at much. me. Was... Well, let's just put it this way. My plan is working. It's working. People now have mustaches, and now that twenty-five percent will not be that hard to kill off. We can't kill them. Why we not? Kill They're disgusting. They're not disgusting. They are disgusting. No, I just said that I wanted a mustache. That's all I said. We'll take a bite of my bagel. My character, Winifred, needs to stand up and make a choice. She needs to choose whether to remain silent or to be an upstander. Choice is something that we go through every single day in our lives. And depending on the magnitude of the choice, it affects people in different ways. What choice are you making? Plum's announcement about mustaches. What is your opinion on people who do not have them? I'm gonna deck them, son. Son, they better get out of my house. They better get out of my village. I'm gonna deck them. I'm gonna deck them. Oh well, hi y'all. I mean, I don't know. <sighs> I, I mean, when you know people who don't have mustaches, they're a total disgrace to society. I mean, you know, if you don't have a mustache, it's like saying you're not wearing clothes in public. It's disturbing, man. It's just disturbing. Well, my character, Salakin Plum, has gained a considerable amount of power over the past, like, year or so. He's taken over the town and he's enforcing a lot of laws just to prove that he is the most powerful. Power person. consumes you when you have too much of it and it, like, it's like a force. It's not only something that you have, it's something that controls you and you ju it just takes you over and you completely lose your mind. After Mayor Plum's announcement about mustaches, what are your thoughts about people who do not have them? Ugh, they are disgusting. And I spit on them. They are nasty. They, they, they don't deserve to be here. So, ugh, oh my god. Ugh, they need to be killed, removed, dead, dead. Not. Now, what is this for? Some news interview or something? Ugh. Hi, Winifred. Respects me, he like makes my life miserable just because I don't have a mustache. I'm sorry. It's not my fault that I grew up poorer than him, that I was born poorer than him, that now I'm poorer than him. And I mean, it's bad enough that I have to be a servant, practically a slave, for my, like for my whole entire life. But then he has to go and make my life miserable while I'm doing it, just because I don't have a mustache. Like does that seem fair? 
I mean, he probably won't even play basketball with me anymore. That's how far, like, that's how bad it is. I'm like, I don't get it. It makes no sense. He's gets on my nerves, and, like, I don't feel like there's anything I can do. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Forget it, yeah. My character, Morales, has been discriminated against because he does not have a mustache. Discrimination is a horrifying thing. Um, and it's when you use a stereotype or a prejudice against someone and you use it to make a biased decision. Um, and I mean, it might be fulfilling to the perpetrator, but to the victim, it's absolutely terrifying. So, Morales! Sorry, sir. Save him? Er, er. What should I do? He's always been there for me, but I don't know. He's been kind of creepy lately. Well, so is the mayor, but you know. I, th they are both kind of weird. But the mayor gives me candy. But, huh. I don't know. But, what do I do? I can't just let him die. There's a mustache. Why? Why does everyone even need a mustache? I don't even know. Why? Why? What's so fancy about a mustache? Why is a mustache worth killing for? I don't understand this. You know what? I'm going to save him. I'm going to save him. I'm going to save you. Please, where is Red? Kill him. Come on. Go. No. I choose to stand up. Winifred, you saved me. Cool. Peace out, you. Here are our bloopers. Watch out for next week. poll in the New York Times. Sure, Bill Times. Uh, the like, reason we didn't get that much of our project done is because we goof around too much, and that's what goofing around is. Yeah. In case you're wondering, so that's a funny. Thank you. God, no! Quiet, quiet. Yeah, that's yeah. illegal. Quiet, okay. that's illegal. Come back. You know what? You're even chill. Like really? Okay. You're really I'm sorry. Can yeah. we do this? I rather appreciate your tone of voice. Okay. Da, 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 we need to do, do this. You're only doing that because you're on camera. You just yeah, exactly. Them. It's when you use a prejudice or use a stereotype against certain people and it causes you to make uh, people without mustaches are people without. God, no! 